I'm from Northern Virginia, right outside DC. And where I live, we all wear our seatbelts. And I wasn't aware that people everywhere didn't do this until I met my roommate, who never wears her seatbelt. So I, she's the inspiration for my speech. And um, wearing your seatbelt in the car is such an easy task, and it can save lives. Um, in the article, Seatbelts, Why You Should Wear Them, published in 2010 in the Journal of Air Mobility Commands, it states that in 2008 alone, seatbelt saved an estimated 13,250 lives, yet one in five, five Americans still fail to buckle up regularly. And 40,000 people die each year in car accidents, but properly worn seatbelts can prevent death in half of these accidents. Today, I'm going to share with you why you should wear your seatbelt whenever you're in a moving car. This brings me to my first point. Just because you're sitting in the back of the car does not mean you do not have to wear your seatbelt. According to Spolomar Paolo's article published in 2008 in the BMC Public Health, the effectiveness of seatbelt usage in reducing the severity of motor vehicle occupant injuries and fatalities and road accidents is widely known. This also applies to rear seats, where using a seatbelt is estimated to reduce the risk of death by 18 to 75 percent. So the, there's no excuse not to wear your seatbelt in the front because it's the law. And I don't know where you're from, if it's the law wearing the back or not, but I really encourage you to do that because Think about it, if you're gonna get car seats for your kids, why would you not also take the necessary measures to ensure your own safety? This brings me to my second point. Buckling up takes virtually no effort and is such a simple task that can save your life in the, and those in the car with you. You never know when you could get into an accident. Imagine like you're in the car with your family and you're in the back seat with all seatbelt on, your mom's in front of you and the car crashes and your unrestrained body just hits the back of her chair, and then at that point you both get hurt because of the impact. Understream passengers um, in the back can harm those in the front seat of car crashes. In the article found in the 2002 issue of Lancet by Ichikawa, it states that unbelted rear seat occupants in car crashes are forced forward into the back of the front seat, and this impact is immense. The force of unbelted rear seat passengers on front seat occupants can be a main determinant of injury. This brings me to my final point. Wear your seatbelt. Although your seatbelt law is already in place, it's obviously necessary that more needs to be done. The consequences of riding the car without a seatbelt should be raised to help you and to keep you and others safe. You should also encourage others to wear their seatbelts in the car when you're with them. Donald Redemeyer makes a very logical point in his article published in 2004 issue of Canadian Medical Association Journal when he explains that just as we caution those about secondhand smoke, we should also um, insist that all people in the car wear their seatbelts. In 2004, the, Jam, the James Madison University Office of Public Safety published statistics on the website. They found that more than 90% of all motorists believe safety belts are beneficial, but less than 14% actually use them. Even if you're planning on going down the street, 75% um, of crash deaths and injuries occur within 25 miles of your house and half of those under 40 miles an hour. Most people agree to buckle up when asked, so if you notice that, speak up. Um, the Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles gives these facts regarding um, seatbelt safety, and as you can see, the medical costs resulting from um, traffic crashes are twice as bad as if, like, if you're not wearing a seatbelt than if you are. And um, adults who wear their seatbelts, their children are more likely to wear their seatbelts as well. I will conclude by asking this question. Do you trust yourself, the driver, or other people on the road enough to just submit your safety to them without putting your seatbelt on at all? Um, is it worth the risk not to take the extra five seconds to put your seatbelt on? Next time you get in the car, I urge you to buckle up and tell those with you to do the same to ensure the safety of everyone.